Hi friends, this is Rajeshwar Rayapati and welcome back to my channel Rayapati. Before going to today's topic, please do like, share and subscribe my channel Rayapati and also share it among your friends who are working on Tableau and are looking for job support. Also, this is my Tableau public profile where you can find all the worksheets that I am working on. Now, the current videos work, uh, workbook is here. So, you can uh, visit my uh, public profile and you can download the workbook and work on it. Also, you can follow me so that you will get any update whenever I post a new uh, workbook into my Tableau public profile. Okay, today coming to the today's scenario in my telegram channel Rayapati YouTube channel, Miss um, Gayatri has asked one scenario. Now, rather than this explaining this, I will go and explain you it in the dashboard itself. Now, here you see. Here, uh, let me... Um, uh, go into presentation mode now you are seeing this right now actually the scenario is like this now the 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 the, the text box is hidden now the point is about having a pop-up now when i click on this now it is showing text and which it is showing a text box now when you click on this again it will get disappeared so she wanted a pop-up box where when you click on it it should show and again when you click on it it should hide now the reason that uh, she asked is the uh, the dashboard is already crammed up with all the filters and sheets and they don't want a separate uh, uh, sheet for this because see this is big this is a bit big and it is ac actually taking space right so they don't want that to happen so if anyone wants such a box so anyone want to view that information they can click just click on this and they can view it now how to do it now let me get into that now first we'll create some visualizations just because for the sake of it they, they actually doesn't matter anything but let me drag subcategory and let me drag sales and with this i'll create a pre-map and I'll go into the next and with the let me go to segment where is segment yeah. segment and again now it is it is profit again sales again I don't want to take profit because I'm taking a pie chart pie chart is again okay now let me make it entire view and let me drag my segment to there okay even in here you have your phones and even dragging sales to the label now i'm creating a dashboard now let me drag or first let me take a container and in that let me take a horizontal container okay, let me hide this here now here uh, let me drag sheet six Let me make it entire view. Okay. Now again, uh, let me drag sheet seven in here. I don't want this. I don't want this. And also, I don't want this. I don't want this. Okay. So now this is your one sheet, and this is your other sheet, right? Now you have your two sheets. Now the requirement is like if you see here, you need a button which says whether the uh, whether you should show it or hide it. Now when I click on this, see it is coming, and when I click, it's going. So for that, actually we need a sheet. This whatever you are seeing, this this is a sheet in which the text is present. So I'll be using the same field here. I am going to take a new sheet and I'm going to take the same text that I have used I'm putting it in the text and entire view and also I'll say format shading I'll take the background as black as one the earlier and the text color will be white and I'm going to increase the size of it okay now you got your sheet 8 but here the problem is how to put the sheet 8 now 
I what I tried is I tried this floating here. I tried to put this in here, and I tried to hide title everything, and then I tried one more sheet with the button. Uh, title sheet five is yeah. So you you can do a lot of things. I tried I tried with action filters so that uh, when when this uh, action filters is undone. You have this option of uh, okay. Let me drag this sheet for you also. I'll show you that. I've done this. Okay, and now I went to dashboard and actions. I am showing you why the other thing is not working. Okay, let me take sheet five and then sheet eight. This is the one eight is the uh, sheet with the text and sheet five is this sheet where it shows show text. This one. This is sheet five and this is sheet eight. Okay. And and selection uh it should show sheet eight. And when when uh the selection is cleared, I'm saying exclude all values. Okay, now what is happening is now when I click on this. The value is going, but the sheet is remaining, right? Because the sheet is present, the sheet is not yet null. The place allocated for the sheet is there. That will not go, right? The sheet will become blank, but the place allocated for the sheet that will not go. So as an alternate, I also went and I also did like in the formatting in shading rather than taking black, I took none. Now the problem with this is again when I click on show text, okay, the text is in white color. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Now again when I make it black, now when I click on show text, this is going, but when it is showing, uh, let me drag this in here. Now when it is showing, the text is being shown. See, it is actually showing the background also. See, it is causing like the overlap is causing from the behind thing, behind whatever the chart that we have. So we don't want that to happen, right? So that is why I this process of me failed. So I am not going to take those two. I'm going to remove these two. And also I mean going to dashboard actions and I'll make actions there. So issues. Now while doing this, I got an, another thought. Why not I take a container? Like I'm taking this vertical container, which is floating. Okay. I put my vertical container here. Okay. And in this, I took tiled and I pulled my sheet 8 and dropped it in this. Right. I did hide title. Now again, I went into format. We removed the background, right. I'm putting the shading. Shading, I'll put black. Okay, and the font color I'll put as white. Okay, now if you see, we got this. But again, we need we need to hide it and show it based on our uh, uh, wish, right? So for that, when you click on the sheet, you can select your container, right? I'm selecting my vertical container. And when you click on the options, you see this add show hide button. Let me click on this. Now this is your add show head button. Let me expand this a bit. Okay. Now let me edit this edit button. Now here, uh, I'm not going to touch this here. I want text in the button, right? When the item is shown, actually I did something different here. It should be high text, right? When the item is hidden, it should show show text. Okay, the rest all formatting and all you can do. Let me click on apply and let me click on okay. Okay, now when it is in the normal mode, when now, now when I when we directly click on it, it will not get applied because when we are in the developing mode, you have to hold your alt and then click. See, this is going now again. I am holding my alt and I am clicking, it's or you can go to presentation mode and in presentation mode, see they, they work directly. Now this works as a pop-up. You can show this as a pop-up. So majority of the time these pop-ups are used to save space or when you want to highlight some things. Right? At that time you can show this.
like in in this when when you show your dashboard you can show this and here you can give a hint click on hide text to hide this pop up right i hope you like the video guys thank you for uh, uh, all your support and also please do like so subscribe and share my channel rai party and also share it with your friends who are working on tableau and are looking for job support on tableau and also you can uh, follow my tableau public profile where i'll be providing all the workbooks that i have worked on okay thank you guys thanks a lot